Hey guys, it's Kai from Lucas Landon Royals. Hope you're doing well. Today I want to continue with my updates and show you some of the girls from late 2016. Alright, this is uh, take number seven on this girl because well, she just moves around so much. I don't know how you guys make videos of your snake and have them sit there so peacefully and cooperatively while you guys talk about the snake because it doesn't seem to be working for me here. Uh, this is a GHI Pastel, also 100% head for albino. Got her from Garrick DeMeyer and she is just a really, really nice, pretty girl. Um, I think she is possibly going into shed. Color's a little bit dull, but if you look on my intro, she is really, really bright and shiny with a lot of luster. Yeah, uh, her scale is usually very, very um, shiny and has a nice sheen to it. But so I think she's going into into shed soon. But yeah, this is a kind of a spur of the moment purchase I don't suggest you do that um, but you know for some reason I think at that moment I was thinking um, a dark snake GHI is a darkening gene um, mixed with albino and we all know that darkening genes mixed with albinos really intensifies the yellows and the oranges that come with an albino uh, you see that happening a lot with uh, cinnamons and chocolates and black pastels with albinos so that's kind of what I was shooting for when I got her, and um, you know, really excited to just see what that what that would look like. I'm sure it's been done before, but it's always cool to produce something of your own. And she is just finally calmed down. I think now you can hear me breathing a little hard. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to put her away, and I will get the next girl. Be right back. All right, we'll see how this girl does on camera. She is, well, she definitely has Enchi. I'll tell you the story behind this one before I tell you what she is. Um, this is what happens when you let your kids buy a snake and it ends up in your collection. Um, so my son picked out a snake, this one. Um, she was purchased as a Super Enchi Sulfur. I don't know, you guys tell me. She was really, really bright as a hatchling, and I did see the whole clutch. Um, you know, I did believe there was a Super Inchy Sulfur based on the way she looked. She was really bright, like a highlighter yellow, as opposed to this deep orange color. Um, you know, I saw the other other clutch, clutch mates, and none of them were as nice as this one. Um, the only other Super Enchi in that clutch was a Super Enchi Spider. Um, but yeah, this is what happens when you let your kids buy a snake. This wasn't even supposed to be in my snake room. It wasn't supposed to be part of this collection. It was just supposed to be his snake. And then, uh, well, one thing led to another and she ended up here. Um, she was growing really well until she started taking prey in backwards, which is why she has slowed down her growth a little bit. Um, because she does need a smaller prey and she doesn't take more than one prey at a time like she won't eat a prey and then an hour later eat another one she does have to wait the full week so her growth slowed down a little bit but she is still um, at her size just because you know in the beginning she was growing really well uh, let's see all right so on to the morph she definitely has enchi uh, the pairing that produced her, one of the parents is an Enchi, so I think that's pretty hard to misidentify being it's so common and popular. And then the other parent is a, let's see if I can get this right, is a uh, Enchi Spider Sulfur. So there is no pastel, there's no yellow belly in that pairing, it's just both parents have Enchi, and then there's also a Sulphur and a Spider in that pairing. Obviously there's no Spider here, so 
She's either a really, really nice Enchi, or maybe she's a super Enchi, I don't know. Um, I don't see Sulfur in here. I don't really know what Sulfur and Enchi does to each other. So, that's the story behind this girl, but she is, I mean, look at, look how bright this yellow is. I mean, it's so, not bright, but so deep, really deep, and it comes up really high. So, it, you know, I would be very happy if this was just a regular Enchi, a very high quality Enchi. Um, looking at the head, I can kind of see the Super Enchi. Yeah, because usually uh, an Enchi just has the wide eye bands like that, but now hers kind of connect, you can see it, it's kind of faint. So there's a, so there's a little bit of a connection there. Um, it would be better if the eye bands connect to that neck stripe, and then that would be a little bit more conclusive, but uh, we'll see. She is probably around 1,000 grams now, so um, a little bit longer, maybe just a few more months to a year, depending on how she does. And then uh, we can breed her out and find out. So that's part of the fun of this hobby. Don't let your kids buy snakes for you guys. Don't do that. All right, I'll bring out the next one. All right, here is the next girl. I think she will stay still. She's kind of shy, so you probably only see what you see now, just all balled up. Uh, this one, she has five genes, one of them being recessive. So let's see if I can get this right. This is a vanilla queen bee hypo. So that's vanilla, that's pastel, spider, lesser, and ghost or hypo. And hard to see on camera. On camera, this 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 pattern, the darker part of the pattern looks a little bit brownish, but uh, in person, it's got a greenish tint to it especially down here. So she's really, really pretty. I wish I could get her head to come out. I really like this head right there. Come on, come on. Look at that, very pretty. Um, so the purpose or the plan for her really is just to help with some of the recessive, um, recessive mores or recessive genes that I'm working with. Um, so if I wanted, you know, let's say I have a Xanthic and I wanted to get a Xanthic into, um, or the other way around, I should say, I wanted to get many different genes into Xanthic, I can breed her with this and get uh, a bunch of het Xanthics that have, you know, vanilla and lesser and spider and pastel and het for hypo, double het, hypo Xanthic. So. Uh, that's that's really the reason I got her, and plus she's beautiful. Um, a lot of times a spider will get these spots. I actually prefer spiders without the spots. Now, some spider genes just come with the spots, some are a little bit more cleaner. But I also think that genes like Lesser and Mojave influences these spots and um, adds to them. So you get more spotting when you combine it with Lessers and Mojaves. Oops. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather have them without the spots, but I've had, um, let's see, what is it called? A, a lesser bee, um, queen bees, and they all have these spots. It seems like they get more spots when you combine it with those two genes or like genes. But yeah, her, her, the plan I have for her is to help me with my secret project. Um, you, I think I've talked about my secret project before, and the fact that I didn't want to disclose it, so I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, speaking of the secret project, I will bring out the next girl, and she, the next one is also part of the secret project. So I'm not going to dive too deep into that one, but let me go get her. So here we go. This is going to be the last of the snakes I'm going to show you. This is a three gene animal. Um, Enchi, Lesser are the two that I can tell you about, and the third one is a bit of a secret. Uh, 
god, she is a runner. She does have a little bit of a scratch on the tip of her nose, if you can see right there. I guess because two sheds ago, she, I guess, rubbed the top of her tub or something. And, uh, caused a little bit of a scratch, but healing up nicely. And she is growing nicely. You probably don't realize there is a third gene at play. You just, looking at this girl, I mean, most people look at this girl and just think, wow, that's a really nice example of a NG Lesser, but that's because there is a third gene at play here. And once she gets up to size, and she is probably the biggest out of this group that I'm showing you, but once she gets up to size, um, I'm gonna breed her with a male, and the male also has that secret gene, so it'll be my first attempt at producing a super form of that secret gene. I don't know how long I can keep her in frame. She's never done this before. She usually is pretty calm, but for some reason she is really, really trying to run away. There's not much I can say about this. Just really excited for for uh, working with this cool gene and can't wait to produce a super. All right, so this is it. This is the four that I wanted to show you and I hope you enjoy watching. So those were the four animals I wanted to showcase today. You can probably tell I'm not very comfortable speaking and showing off the animals at the same time. Just not something I'm used to doing. Usually when I'm in the snake room I'm just feeding and cleaning and nowhere in that process involves speaking. But I did try my best. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to continue seeing me fumble and stutter, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Remember to share and I'll see you guys next time.